video, we will be looking at writing algorithms to solve problems. So let's look at the problem. New school gym membership. When pupils wish to register to use the school's gym, they enter the age, password and username. These details have to be validated using the following criteria. The username must not be empty. The age of the pupil must be between 12 and 18 inclusively. Their password must be at least eight characters long. If any of these rules are invalid, then the output will be membership rejected. If all rules are valid, then membership accepted will be displayed. So already, if we can step back and think about the problem, we've identified the inputs. We will have the inputs of username, age and password. We know the outputs of membership rejected and membership accepted. So that's our inputs and outputs covered. What we now need to do is to look at the other possible parts of a program to see if we need to consider them. Do we need any loops? Well, the text doesn't insinuate that we need to repeat any of these actions until a condition is met, so we can rule out the use of loops. The text also doesn't mention writing the data to a data file, so we can rule out the use of file handling. So that leaves us with our if statements. So we're going to need an if statement to test the username is not empty, the age is within the appropriate range. The password is of at least eight characters long. Once we've done that, we're going to be able to put out whether the member is accepted or rejected. So let's start coding these if statements. So if username is equal to, notice the use of double equals. This is testing the contents of my variable being equal to a blank. If that is true, then we are going to set membership accepted to being false because that's the first rule or one of the rules that has been broke, that the username is empty. We're not going to accept that. So let's end that if statement. Let's start our next if statement. So if the age is less than 12, or the age is greater than 18, that again is the test of our next um, invalid input. So if that is the case, we will have membership accepted being set to false once more. That's the end of that if statement. And the next input we'll have an if statement for. So if the um, len for length of the password is less than eight, then again, that's an invalid input. So we will set our membership accepted to being false and we're gonna end that if statement. So now all we need to do is to look at this Boolean variable, membership accepted, with another if statement. And if it's true, then we are gonna put the message out of membership accepted. If it's false, we will put membership rejected. So it'll be if membership accepted is equal to true, then we will have a print and we will say membership accepted.
else we will print membership rejected we need to end our if statement now this line here could be simplified. This would give you full marks in an exam situation. But we know that if this whole Boolean expression evaluates to true, then it will run this print membership accepted command. So some programmers wouldn't put the, the test for being equal to true. They would simply put membership accept, accepted like that. So the equal to true isn't necessarily needed, but some people like to put it in just for clarity's reasons. But they both would attract equal marks. So now we have a solution that takes all of the inputs. It examines the inputs based on the validation criteria stated within the question. And you'll notice that it's Every time that it hits a condition that is invalid, membership accepted is set to false. And then finally, we test if the membership is accept accepted is equal to true, then we will print accepted. If this is false, we will print membership rejected.